Welcome to this part one of the first milestone. So uh, first thing we're gonna go with the server style. As you know, uh, with my other video, I prefer to start server style. And I just think that's a good idea because here, uh, if you came to this uh, channel before, we have worked with React Native, but we didn't work with Elixir and Phoenix before. So uh, we're gonna surely put more time there and you're gonna see how much awesome Elixir and Phoenix are. This is really a nice stat. It's crazy. Uh, first thing for those who never really work with Phoenix and Elixir, uh, go to this website. It's uh, I don't gonna go with all the installation, but click on Git at the top left. Click on the installation and top, and just do all the installation. Here they're gonna ask you to do, and after all this stuff is done, you can came back to this video so I will pause the video if I was you and I will do all the installation I don't want to go uh, like I don't want to do this here in this video and uh, first thing also here as you can see this is a really beautiful docs and you're gonna see that everywhere this is all the docs you're gonna see a lot with uh, Elixir and if you don't like the the night you can switch here and this is all the stuff you have and also what we're gonna install is gonna be AppSynth here, which is gonna be the GraphQL uh, library uh, for Elixir. So the first thing we're gonna do, first make sure you have installed Phoenix and Elixir like I just showed you. And the first thing we're gonna do, it's here, so I'm in a brand new, uh, uh, brand new uh, uh, project. Oh, I'm not in the good one, sorry. And here, what we're gonna do now, it's we're gonna create a brand new Phoenix project. So we're gonna do mix f p h x dash new. I'm gonna call that Instagram. I'm gonna say no branch and no HTML. For those who have never done Alex in Phoenix, Phoenix or your work, it's like a, a bit like Ruby on Rails, where you have your front end and your back end. Also, you have your templating engine. But here, we don't want branch, so it's almost like a webpack. And we don't want any HTML because we just want to build like an API. So I'm going to click enter. And now here, they're going to ask me. So look at first thing, look at all the library and the library, but the file and folder they create. So that they ask here, fetch and install dependency. I'm going to just click enter because as you see, the Y it's in uppercase. So that means the Y is by default. So if you click enter, that's going to run it. And as you can see, the command they run, it's mix dep get. So for those who came from Node.js, it's almost like an npm install after you have your package JSON. And now here, they, are, they, they compile all the dependencies and everything. So uh, we're gonna wait here, but we cannot already open something. We can open this project on code, Visual Studio Code. Yeah, but sorry, I made a mistake. We're gonna just do what they say, cd Instagram. And right there, I'm gonna do code insider or code for you if you want. So this is what we have here. First thing, if you use Visual Studio Code and you never have used Elixir, go to the extension and just search for Elixir here. Click enter and install the first one with the, you see, they have a lot of downloads. So. Because that's gonna give you this kind of indenta uh, not indentation, but this syntax color right there. So here, the mix EXS, it's almost like the package JSON you have inside uh, an OGS application, where here, they, it's about your project, so where we have the name of the app. So uh, again, like I told you in the first video I talked in December, it's not a beginner course in Elixir. I hope you have done some search on Elixir before you, uh, you have... You, you came here, so. Um, so here it's all about the project, version 001. We're gonna use the Elixir version 1.4. After that here we have, it's nothing crazy here. We don't really need to know that uh, for this tutorial. After that here we have the depths. And uh, this is finally everything we need for the project. It's all the dependency. So as you can see, we have uh, Phoenix 1.3. And we have all the pop sub, Ektof with the OR, uh, Kind of ORM for uh, Phoenix and Elixir. Postgres, this is the uh, database we're gonna use. After that, uh, we have other library who it's been used by um, uh, Phoenix. After that, here we have some alias, which is almost like npm start, npm test, and stuff like this. But now here we have 
uh, Ecto Reset example, who's going to drop the database and after that, going to run the setup, who is there. So that means we're going to create, migrate, and run the seed. And the test, it's finally the test. <laughs> so this is the project here. After that, uh, this is a, a Phoenix 1.3. So that means now we work with context. So here inside the lib folder, we're going to have uh, this two folder here. So as you can see, because we have the project called Instagram, we get Instagram and Instagram web. So here, if you don't really know all the context work, I'm going to give you uh, inside the description a link for a video which really really good about this and why also it's good is because it's by the author of phoenix this guy is really smart and he have done a really good job to teach a bit about this stuff you really need to know how context is gonna work i don't really want to pass a lot of time there because this this uh, video it's more about like building a full project than like focus on small little stuff again it's not a beginner course it's kind of an intermediate uh, course. Beginner intermediate, yeah. So inside this lib, this is where everything gonna start. This is where all the project. We have the build, don't touch it. We're never gonna really touch it. It's just finally uh, the, the, the project compilation. You have the config where here we have all the configuration. And as you can see, this is one thing I really love about the Phoenix. They have the dev, the prod, and the test setup. So, when you want to add something just in dev, you go in dev, test, and prod, and you have your secret right there. One thing why I go there is here. For me, it's good for me, but I don't know for you. I use Postgres, and Postgres, by default, my username is Postgres, and my password is Postgres. Uh, if it's not for you, you really need to change this stuff, because the second command we need to run, it's mix ecto.create. And now you see, if you get this thing, the database for Instagram that repo has been created, everything is set up, you are good to go uh, with the DB. If not, this is really what you need to change. So, uh, so yeah, and this is in dev because we're going to work in dev first. So this is the config. The depth you don't need, think about that as a, the node module. Here the private, we're going to work kind of a lot here because we're gonna have all the migration and we're gonna also have all the seeds we're gonna do because we're gonna work with seed <laughs> i don't want to create like a pose uh, for like 20 times if i want to uh, to make like a kind of a active uh, project but <laughs> so we're gonna see it's gonna be pretty pretty easy i mean everything in elixir it's really really easy when you get your uh, when you can understand the syntax after that, here inside the lib, uh, I mean the test, the test. I don't gonna go uh, right now there, but uh, it's where you have your test finally. Here inside the Instagram, we don't gonna really touch here. Inside inside the Instagram web, I think we're gonna came here one time in the app, and as you can see, they have add so many comments here, and you can just read all of them. I take again. I take. I think I get. I take uh, like. Uh, Half of a day, one time to just read all the comments they put everywhere and just make sure that I understand all the setup and that really really pay off. So sometimes it's really really good to do stuff like this, building nothing but just reading code. So here it's where we're gonna pass all the time. So the Instagram and the Instagram web. So the Instagram web is gonna be the web interface of the project, and the Instagram is gonna be the business logic of the application. So here on Instagram is where we're gonna put the context. So for those who don't really know how context is gonna work, think about this as like, a, how I can say that, like a folder for your business logic, but when you separate that. So example, for us, we're gonna have uh, two contexts, we're gonna, uh, three contexts, we're gonna have the accounts. So it's gonna be everything about the user and the account and stuff like this. After that, we're gonna have the post context, which is gonna be about like a, a photo, comment, tag stuff like this so the thing you can post and also we're gonna have another one who's gonna be called reaction reaction is gonna be about like liking a, a photo liking a comment or example following another user because yes we're gonna do all this stuff in this tutorial we don't gonna really touch about the application in this tutorial I think about building 
another application where we're going to talk about OTP and stuff like this. And that's going to be one of my projects for this year. And the repo also, we don't going to really need it. As, as you can see, they take the environment variable they get from the config folder I just showed you. And here inside Instagram web, we're going to have the router. This thing, it's really, really simple. As router, you can see scope API, I get to the API and all the pipeline. We're going to just plug, finally, we're just going to transform everything as a JSON here. <clears throat> the endpoint, we don't going to really need to touch it. The view, we don't going to touch it yet. Controller, first thing we can do, we're going to delete the controller. We don't going to need because we use GraphQL here. So, and here we have the user socket. We don't going to use it yet. So this is the setup of uh, of um, Phoenix. Just, just set up Phoenix. So in the next video, we're gonna uh, start to just add AppSign, and we're gonna also um, just set up the schema for doing the first query request with GraphQL. I hope you enjoy, and let me know in the comment if you kind of like how I teach this tutorial. Uh, now uh, and I, I hope it's going to be better than my last one have a good day everyone bye